Hi guys, so um, just dressed, showered, waiting for William. We've decided to go out on another bike ride because um, it's again a gorgeous day and um, I think we'll go a little bit further this time. Not sure if he'll go on his BMX or his regular bike, he's not sad. But um, I'm actually, I feel like uh, the breathing's um, a lot better today. I still woke up with this horrible headache that I just, I can't shake it off, I don't know why. But um, at least, um, I don't know if it sounds any better to you guys, but it, for me, it feels a lot better. So, I mean, it's still, you know, a bit of a struggle, but nowhere near as bad as it was. Um, slightly annoyed. Um, those purse clasps that I, um, I ordered, I can't remember when I mentioned it to you, uh, you know, to make the little crochet purses. So I had a notification of DHL and the supplier. I ordered them through Amazon um, in the UK that um, they were due to be delivered between, I think it was 5 and 9 p.m. last night. And then sometime around just after lunch, one-ish, two-ish, something like that, um, I received an email saying that they tried to deliver. And it's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> These four people sat in the house. And Jack, as soon as somebody comes up our path, or even walks past the front garden, he goes nuts. So nobody's nobody's trying to deliver anything and also it was out of the allocated time slot that they confirmed so uh, they said they would try and um re-deliver i think between two and six today so um i tried to call all the customer services working from home rightly so that means you can't have any telephonic conversations with people and i know Nobody came to my door yesterday with a parcel. So that's really annoyed me because if they do the same thing again on me today, it means one of us have got to go to the depot to pick it up but because there's no telephone service. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to arrange that. So um, anyway, hopefully we don't have to cross that bridge and all will be fine. But um, yeah, I don't like that. That's really uh, dishonest. Hey, thanks for all your um, feedback about what you're doing with food at the moment. Um, it's really interesting. And also, it's nice to see how we're all sort of in the same boat, but coping differently. Um, Lawrence is actually going to go to the supermarket today. I, I really wanted to go, but I, I still think with this, I should keep away. And even though he, he is high risk, um, we've sort of weighed up the odds and um, he's happy to do so. Um, I understand um, that it's one person only in the store, not in the store, but you have to go alone, you can't go in groups. Um, you have to have a shopping cart and um, there's like a perspex uh, window around the cashier and no cash, that's what I understand as of yesterday. Maybe something's changed today, who knows. Um, but I'll make a little list. The main thing is I need um, vegetables now. and. Um, yeah, I've got an idea of a few, few things that I want to make and I can stick in the freezer kind of thing. <coughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go and chase William because I told him to get dressed ages ago and he's stalling. <laughs> hear me it's quite windy obviously my voice isn't very strong that's one of our local windmills behind me you can get an idea how windy it is today because of it's turning pretty fast and then um behind me oh there's some horses so you see where those horses are that's like on a slope down and then there's the water level and then if I turn around uh this behind me is what the windmill is pumping so this is actually a working windmill i forget the age of it now oh there's a sign up on it 17 42 and 1920 i don't know what that means maybe it was built in 1742 and then restored in 1920 i don't know it's beautiful the outside of it is um you can see it's all thatched and um what you can't see is it's like a huge like a corkscrew um on the slope pointed down that way and that's what it's doing it's pumping the water up uh to the higher level 
and uh, that's what stops us getting flooded <laughs> so it's really important that we have this um they're actually doing work uh, this is normally all grassy and really pretty but they're doing work here so i'm pretty sure we can't cycle because william and i hi will William's taken some photos of the horses. Uh, William and I was going to keep cycling that direction and then we can do like a loop back to the house. But um, I don't think that's possible. But what we can do is we can cycle down to that level and still do like a circle. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, I can see there's um, a stop sign there. I don't know if we can cycle up a little bit closer. But uh, I don't want to be too sort of um, intrusive because that's actually somebody's home. Yeah, we definitely can't cycle any further, but uh, if you listen, you can hear the sails. Jeez, that would really knock your head off. Sorry, my phone's upside down. I'm normally used to looking in that corner up there and then the lens is down there, <laughs> so not cross-eyed. But um, I'll quickly flip you around so we can have a closer look. It's absolutely beautiful. This is actually this is always um one of the go-to places that we bring people when we first moved here and i rarely come up here anymore just over the way is my gym as well so when um when the gym depending on what equipment you're in you get to look out at this stunning windmill so let's take a look The sweet corn, just one and what? two cans of the um, yeah. tuna. Just going to do tuna, sweet corn, and mayonnaise sandwiches for lunch. But well, we've been out for about an hour, hey, Will? Mm -hmm. I'm tired now, are you? No. I am really tired. You're just like a walk in the park and you... You, you just said your legs were aching a minute ago. Oh, oh it's such yesterday. A, it's such a fibber. <laughs> oh, yesterday. We were doing backflips. <laughs> But um, I can feel it on my chest now. That was uh, quite heavy, <coughs> but uh, nice. Stupidly, I went out the house again without my jacket. And um, even though I'm hot, I'm, like sweating, mm. but uh, it's quite cold. Jack's outside sunbathing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get on and make some lunch starving now. It's almost one o'clock. <laughs> I like them, they're quite cute and they've got like this little hole so you can um okay they're really sweet. I'm very happy with them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, ten pieces, yay! Just upstairs, um sorry, it's not nice. Just upstairs in the craft room. Um finally getting round to um, lining that um, bicycle slash delivery basket that I bought from the thrift store a while ago. So um, take it upstairs with me. It is roasting hot in the craft room. I've got the window open, but it's in like full sun now and it's um, like three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna have to put a t-shirt on if it gets any hotter. 
Jeez, it's so bright in here. I can hardly see you. I think I will have to put a t-shirt on. <sighs> it's a matter of breath now, just running up the stairs. It's not, uh, it's not good. So that's the clasp that I had from the cheapy shop. So I think that those antique style ones are definitely a big improvement. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna carry on sewing. I'm now hemming the top of the box shape, if that makes sense. <laughs> go still needs a good clean but that's all right that'll do it's like a giant bread basket Lawrence has just come home he's popped to do the groceries so I'm gonna go downstairs and help him now I'm so tired well that was an uneventful afternoon <laughs> when um Lawrence come back with the shopping we unpacked it and then um I just fell asleep on the sofa out like a light so I've been getting up quite early the last few days, though, so I think it's catching up on me. Um, dinner this evening is um, a cheat curry, one of these jars. I think it's a tandoori one, one of the patek ones. And um, I've already cooked the rice. I've just um, letting it sit. Do you do that when you make rice? I sort of I've cooked it and then I let I like to let it sit the plate over it for a while. I don't know. It just makes it fluffy for some reason. Um, anyway guys, at this point, whoop, cut my head off, I'm going to wrap up the vlog because I haven't got anything more interesting to say to you, not that anything was interesting today, but um, hope you like the windmill, uh, I'm going to check the weather forecast for tomorrow, if it's nice again we're going to go out, I already spoke to William about this, we're going to do it daily. Um, good news, um, hopefully our boat is going in the water on Saturday. Uh, the guy from the winter storage place uh, called Lawrence before to say that they were bringing it out and um, he's going to do like a mini service on it because we had a new carburetor fitted in the engine last season so should be fine it'll just be like an oil change and just make sure it's running smoothly and then um, where we store it for the season Lawrence has phoned him and he said yep yeah, no problem bring it Saturday so if we've got the boat in the water, that's going to be amazing because, you know, we, there's no chance of us coming into contact with anybody on the boat and it's just nice. You can get out and just get a bit of fresh air. It will be cold on there though at this time of the year, so we'd have to wrap up warm, but oh, I can't wait. It's my happy, happy place. So, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be vlogging tomorrow. We'll see. I'm just, I'm not sort of putting myself on a tight schedule because I never know from one day to the next how I'm going to be feeling. And um, this headache situation is driving me a bit sort of crazy at the moment. Um, I've still got it now, but it's sort of like there lingering. So hopefully I'll wake up in the morning and it's better. Because when I woke up this morning, I definitely noticed a marked improvement in my breathing. So fingers crossed. Okay, guys, I'm going to say bye. Stay safe. Hope you're all well. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.